what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here today so scream 7 is expected to be filming sometime this summer and nev campbell will be back as sydney prescott kevin williamson will be directing they're casting sydney's kids because it's going to be about her family someone targeting her family putting them in jeopardy uh patrick dempsey is expected to be back as mark kincaid sydney's husband courtney cox is expected to be back as gail weathers and now the hollywood reporter may have confirmed that the core four is completely out of this upcoming screenplay if it hadn't been made apparent by what daniel rpk had been reporting or i guess i should also say what he hadn't been reporting even what i hadn't been saying i heard i have not heard anything that still relates to chad and mindy's involvement so it would appear that chad and mindy's involvement has been confirmed as no longer the case for scream 7 those characters are completely wiped away if what the hollywood reporter is insinuating in this article is true it says here original franchise co-creator and screenwriter kevin williamson has since come on to direct scream 7 and the franchise is now moving away from radio silence's core four of the carpenter sisters barrera ortega and the meeks martin twins jasmine savoy brown mason gooding and refocusing on Nev Campbell's Sydney Prescott and Courtney Cox's Gail Weathers. Now, see, remember when Variety reported that Courtney Cox was in talks? So is the Hollywood Reporter basically telling us that they know she signed? Because it could just be them framing it a certain way. But it's, if the way it's worded comes off as a confirmation that the core four is completely gone not that you really even needed this because keep in mind i've talked about the fact that i've heard about a babysitter being involved sydney's neighbor uh, a, a close friend of sydney's or, or not a close friend but a friend of sydney's who could also be said neighbor and daniel's talked about these new teens that they're going to bring in these 20 something year olds so it was all in front of our faces that if the other two the biggest two that most people are no care about out of this when it comes to reporting which is going to be sam and tara the carpenter sisters with melissa and jenna gone it was a pretty safe bet that mason and jasmine would be gone as well and going off of this report from the hollywood reporter the core force seems to be no more now of course a lot of people are going to celebrate about that but i'm talking i want to talk about this creatively you could have still had them included creatively you still could have had uh the Meeks twins included in some capacity if you could if you could have made it work 100% just like you could obviously still have Kirby included the thing also that I could argue is that it feels unnecessary to include these characters especially those those Meeks twins because of the lack of interactions they've had with Sydney I'm not saying you couldn't build a dynamic in Scream 7 but why do that when you could just leave out the core four altogether and just have them appear in another movie together if the stars align and that's what is going to be waiting for us down the road with this franchise also with kirby kirby hasn't really interacted with sydney that much barely even interacted with gail it's not to say that again you couldn't create some type of believable dynamic for kirby in scream 7 but leaving out the meeks twins and leaving out kirby i'm on board with that because it honestly could come off a little bit weird depending on how it's executed with the absence of Sam and Tara. Sam and Tara and the Meeks twins pretty much were like a package deal. You could also argue obviously that it would be weird to see Gail in a screen movie without Sydney. I don't really I don't I don't really think that argument holds up as much just going off of the role Gail plays in the universe. Whereas this group of characters their lineage and their history is much more deeper than the original trilogy sam babysat all of those kids they've grown up they have a family dynamic so it would be a little bit odd going off of the di dynamic that's been presented from five and six to see this family split with two of the family members missing but then you have the other two plus kirby just seems a little odd so i'm kind of glad they're not going to be back however again you could have come up with something that could have been still believable it just probably would have still been a little bit odd because you're missing sam and tara if you don't have sam and tara why have the other half that's just how it comes off with these core four characters because of how they were written and presented in five and six it feels like they should always be in a movie together not splintered apart now we're going to talk about what radio silence said 
about Nev Campbell's return. This was on the real podcast. I think that's linked to cinemablend.com. They were asked what their thoughts are on Nev returning. Said they're excited. They're excited for Kevin and Nev. The more scream, the better. That's the gist of their words. Now, obviously, people have started looking into their body language, saying that they are tired of being asked about scream. And I will say this. I think their words are are sincere i don't think they're just giving pr words because they've talked about more scream the better in the past and how they would like to see the franchise go on forever i personally would not prefer to see this franchise go on forever i would prefer to hopefully see the franchise go out on a high note but i'm not dumb i'm not stupid i realize that if there's always an audience there for scream they're going to keep finding a way to bring this ip back it's going to get to the point where you eventually are going to stop seeing roger l jackson's voice portraying the iconic ghost face if it continues to be profitable we just have to be realistic about that possibility too but i don't think they're being like sketchy with their comments i think they're very sincere i think they have a lot of respect for kevin obviously i think they have a lot of respect for nev nev talked about that that love letter or whatever that letter was <laughs> got her to do five so many times i don't think that radio silence has an issue with nev or kevin i think they're being very genuine but i also think they might have some reservations on their own accord about the project they can be happy for their friends while also still having reservations about the project overall because of what happened with melissa barrera and the creative plans they had in place with christopher landon and all that other stuff which again still involves sydney but just not in this capacity you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Scream 7? Why or why not? What do you think about the Meeks twins, the core four being gone all together? Seemingly, it seems to be referred or confirmed from the Hollywood Reporter with a excerpt like that in this article. I'll leave a link to it in the description. The way again that they're wording it is what is sealing the deal for me. We won't have to worry about seeing Chad or Mindy in Scream 7 because it's going to be shifting focus back to Sydney Prescott and Gail Weathers. And notice again how the way it's worded would also seemingly be confirming Daniel's last report that Nev and Courtney are going to be main characters once again in Scream 7. So the Hollywood Reporter has more or less confirmed that in a way if they again were not speculating but simply writing it as a confirmation because that's the way it comes off let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video